surprise bungee. Okay. I'm right out of there. Yep. You can square the camera up if you want or whatever you want to do. I hope that's not oil I see. Yeah, it is. Can you look down? See where that's coming from? Yeah. That's as far as I can go. You got you got more. I'm gonna check the gauges. No, right. right. Quick. Yeah. Gauges are fine. Yep. It looked like it was coming from below though. But see it here? I hope that's just dust. On the uh, where? What on the starboard cam? Yeah, that's dust. Yeah. I think it, you just moved the platform. I think it kicked something up. That's yeah. Kind of flowing to the right. Yeah. Are you happy with that vehicle position, Dave? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you square it up at all? I'm just in the blind spot over there. The vehicle? Yeah. Let me see. First step is I'll put that bungee back on. Oh, yeah. What are you doing? So what happens when you get aggressive with stuff? There's yeah. already a folder. No kidding. Zero. I didn't do it. Well, sit back a wee bit further. Yeah, I roger that. Um, maybe here. Uh, got something I can drive in on then as well. Yeah, nice. Probably video. It's not quite as stable, but it's. Yeah, okay. Won't get Good quite enough. as crazy with it. You can camera me out and up, please. Yeah. Are they not in the dive plan? They should be. Yeah. T 20 and 22. Swing and a miss. I might be a little far, oh, no. but we'll see. Sorry. Stick with it for now and 20, see how it goes. Okay. Yeah, that would just make a total mess on our hands. That would be no good. So, uh, back row, what would you like me to do? I'm going to keep nuzzling around here and see if we can learn I, yeah, anything? Or? I can, I'd like to learn if okay. we're... Where are you plugged in, Dirk? Ooh. Oh, okay. I might be able to reach that. Do, Do we need to come here? forward? Let's try right now while we have... I have just enough reach for nuzzling, so... Yeah, I'd like to just learn a little more about how pinned that cable is. Okay, can really you line is. up on that cable and then we can zoom in, please? Because that'll determine how desperate we need to be with our actions. So you can see the problem child, but yep. we can't see that what's we actually happening there. Corner. I'll try and line it up on bubble. I don't know if we've got much info going on there, but I'll see what we've got. Trevor, I've got, if anyone can, can you hear me? Can, can you hear me? Yeah. yeah, okay. Um, the stills camera does give you more information and I just took a JPEG, okay. but if there's a way to share that with you, I don't know, it's on my screen. Yeah, Pete can help out with that. It looks like it is crushed by the yep. oily, or yeah, by that you can see piece of grating, yeah. Yeah, essentially what this gives you is a little more resolution on that exact thing. Yeah, great. Peter, are you able to get that uh, it's still not. stills cam up on, let's say, this screen, please? Yeah. It's not clear the amount of overlap. Uh, and what no, is clear I don't know what number it is. If you, like, if you look at where it's going, out. yeah, it's not clear, I'll give you, but it definitely is crushed by this corner. I yeah. think that's fairly conclusive. Yeah, you called it, Dave. You gotta be right once a shift. <laughs> <laughs> if we, if oh, that's not. I might. Got oh, perfect timing, but <laughs> just I did that on purpose. I know.
Um, okay, I think what we're going to ask for is for you to get the manip under under this cable. Okay. Uh, closed jaw, and okay. then I guess try to bring it, if you can, towards the vehicle and up okay. as best you can. I guess that's what you were doing before with nuzzling, but let's yeah. try some more. I'm mid-nuzzle right now. As soon as I let go, the figure eight's going to fall back towards me, which is fine. But uh, so you want me to go in here. Yeah. Go. I'm going to do it out first. I'm going to go in there like this and kind of just whoop. Yep. Okay. I think so. I don't know that I got enough reach, but I'm going to give it my most. You just did yourself. What? You said kind of just. Yeah. yeah, it's the English language. I'm being criticized for the English language that we all use. No, I don't have the don't have the reach. Josh, why are you so far away? Come wide, please, video. Thank you. Listo? Listo. Vamanos. I'll give you front porch bubble. Okay. I'll, give, I'll give you front porch bubble. <coughs> Thanks. That's fine there. That's called a scooch. Nice scooch. Scooch is coach. Stand by. Standing. That's not working. Uh, yes, I do. H11. I can do. I can do PC2. Thank you very much. Okay, well, we're precariously perched, but good luck. Hey, Dirk, can you pull that JPEG up on the old stills cam? <coughs> I can't hear you at all, but I'm appreciating what you're doing. Hang yeah. All right. Oh, there we go. So this is the JPEG in your current position. Doesn't really give us much. I'll open another one. Okay. Uh, it's just a slightly different angle to the bubble oh, yeah, cam. Yeah, it's not, not great shape. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's coming in from there, crushed by the corner, mm -hmm. and around. Rock looks pretty crumbly, so I don't know. So I might bonk the uh, comp volume of the arm on this so, bullhorn if I try to nuzzle. So just before you start, Trevor. Um, before I start. Roger. If you don't, if you don't see it move out, don't force it. Understood. Okay. But you know. Give it a little bit of force. Yeah, so I'm against the... I'm unfortunately not going to be able to go in at this wrist angle, Dirk. I'm going to have to go in at this wrist angle. Okay. It's um, be a little blinder. Yeah, one second. One second. Yeah. I wasn't following the first bit. Have you tried pushing on that grating? Pushing the grating out? It's on um, ready rod. That is space, like, probably a foot. Oh, cool. So I tried pushing the platform, not the ready rod. You might be able to bend that ready rod closer to where the oily is and just push it away. Hmm, Okay. Because uh, it might just be dangling off ready rod, right? Yeah, understood. Let's see if I can get this in a useful place. I don't know. If you can't push by the oily, you can push over to the right, too. Sorry, Josh. Sorry to do this to you. We're too close now. It's okay. Can you just bring the heading around? Like, to can you spin her around, uh, sure. spin to starboard? That might work. How much? A little more. Yeah, right there. Perfect. Give that a go. Hopefully that's far enough. Ugh. Yeah, I think these oilies were put on there as rock guards. Yeah, they're doing a great job. <laughs> they did the, yeah. um, can I please have a zoom video? And keep going. Good there. Get in there. Wow, that's really far. Glance. Yeah, I'm moving the vehicle, Dirk. Yeah, I think you're underneath of it. I am, yeah. yeah. Not pushing, waiting for the vehicle. Okay, here we go. Let's, uh,. I'm going to do open jaws so I make sure I don't get the cables in there. Okay. Push them away. Get that. 
on the grating and then push. No, that's not bending. That's not. All right. No, coming out of there. It looks like three eighths rod or. Yeah, it's yeah, big stuff. It looks, well, it looks <laughs> probably more like. Looks three like quarter actually. Three quarter. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> not. You've seen how we are with the reamer. Um, so now, what would you like to try? I can try that nuzzle suggestion you first suggested. Uh, if you so want. that that's kind of in the back pocket. But if you look at your camera, see this. I just don't know how flaky this stuff is. Do you think if we get the, the nip in there, not on the oily, would it be? And <coughs> on the rock. See if it that you can just push that rock out of the way. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. I'm not gonna get smashy with it, but I can get definitely yeah. get pokey with it. Yeah, you're focusing like two inches above, or away from the whaley, but in that rocky area there. Okay. We don't have to go too crazy. Unfortunately, I got a wrist this way because of the bullhorns. Yeah. So we get no viz, and that's fine. Can I'm going to zoom in on bubble. Yeah, I can, um, if you go slow enough, I can also keep track of it for you on the this Thank camera. If there's you. a concern. Zoom in on bubble. Ugh. Can't see. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, without seeing Trevor, maybe let's call this one off. I, I see on bubble. Can you see the? Oh yeah, okay. bubble. Yeah. yeah, doing that alone. But that rock's not moving. Yep. All right. Okay, getting out of there. Um. So we'll keep zoomed in for a minute. I'm just going to get this just out of screen here. And now, yeah, what's what's the next step here? I think let's do let's do the cable trick. And what we're really testing is like this cable, trick. if you can do any kind of up on this cable, <coughs> like straight up, like that's not the direction, <laughs> not in the arrow, no. yeah. but straight up um, in a vertical way, just to yeah. see if it pops loose. We're not trying to break it loose. We're just trying to see if it comes loose. Yeah, understood. Um, Can I come wide, please, video? Do you think, Josh, do you think we could land here? Sure. Then I can reach out, because I'm getting all up in that bullhorn. It's just not working out for me. Okie dokie. I don't know. I'll give you a porch here. That would actually potentially give us a really good angle, too, of that cable. Yeah, I don't know if we have room there or what the landing area is like. But uh, yeah, being high up and digging down there with the bullhorns not well, really working out. Here is a pretty good view with your main <coughs> camera too. Like you should just keep an eye as much as you can. So we're too high still for you? I think so. I'm not sure. We could try there. You've already landed. Might as well give it a shot. Can we get okay. some zoom on the camera, um, Trevor? I'm possible. ready for that. Yeah, go ahead. If you're ready, just I think we're seeing something different here. Keep going, keep going in, keep going in. That's good there. All right, so this might actually where it looks pretty crumbled. <coughs> you can just see the corner. Um, like this is the grating there. Yeah, agreed. Okay, so this might work. Yeah. Okay, come out, please, video. All the way out to start, and we might have you go in in a sec. Let's try it. Uh, last night, when they're or two nights ago, when they're trying to get the bars out, the arm actually held the connector and tried to pull a co connector sideways to try and lift it, and it couldn't break the connector. It's pretty funny how strong those things really are. Ooh, hello! I'm out of there. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm still a little too low. Okay. Halted. I got some behind me because I can't back up. Roger. No, I'm above it, but... Feel free to, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I don't care. If you want to fly away and take a little survey. Up to you. Well, I, I mean, yeah, I don't <laughs> mind, but I don't mind trying either. Just sitting on rocks and stuff. I don't, uh, there's obviously something big behind me. Yeah. 
I'm seeing a, it looks like a hillside in your bubble cam, or uh, what's that called? Bud cam. Yeah, some down slope action. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to work. Okay. That's hilarious. <laughs> Whee! Yeah. So... So, I guess we go back to where we were originally and just dial in perfectly the any Audi. It's a fine line between being shouldered into it and being too far to reach. So, perfect will be good enough, Josh, if you can just do that. Okay, no problem. <coughs> so we don't like this? I think it's too close. Okay, stand by. <coughs> Good thing so, about all these years of scooch practice. Yeah. So there was that rock that uh, Dave was pressed up against with the front of the porch that was just barely too far. So we're not happy here? Still too close? Correct. So I can't see. That might be that might be good there. Let's see what happens. See what happens. Yeah, doesn't hurt to try it. Okay, video, please zoom in. Good there. Thank you. <coughs> good. I'm not going to be into the bullhorn here, so this might be just right. As long as I can reach, I think I'm good. Uh, I'm going to try this, actually. Can I keep going, Dirk? Yeah, go a little more. I think I think it's gonna come out. So should I try this with open jaws or? No, what you're doing there is okay. I mean, as long okay. as you can go slow and not jump, but I get it. No promises. I'll do my best, though. I promise to do my best. I don't. Your job is done. You're already landed. Yeah, go away. <laughs> <laughs> you did great. You landed exactly the spot I asked. Ooh, hello. Hmm. I'm, uh, come wide, please, video. I'm out of there. Roger. I'm th I think we can try that again. That was just me bound up a little bit. Stand by. Yep. Uh, not lost hope yet. Do you have, uh, what do you have for tools? Do you have the reamer or anything like this? Uh, we have what was on the dive plan. Okay. So I don't actually, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't rig it, so I don't know. No, I think everything's there except for okay, maybe it's one of the shin straps. And if we've used it already or lost it, I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay, go in halfway, please, video. Good. That's good there for now. So you're going off here. Uh, let's see, looking stable, looking good. Okay, zoom in more, please. Wonderful there. Thank you. Oh, she's stuck. I think I should try this with jaws open, Dirk, just so it doesn't keep sliding off the side. Sure. Not grabbing it, just, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, um, yeah, I kind of get it. I don't know. As long as, as, okay? see it, as long as I can see it. Tilt up a little bit, Josh. Yeah, yeah. Keep going. Okay. Okay. Stop. That's Stopping. Probably, yeah. And you can't. Um, Halted. Anybody think about just grip force five or six or something, and then just. Have you tried the pull, like the twist wrist? I guess I don't think that's going to help. So what I could do, Dirk, is I could try. We have the jaws around it open. I could try like. Someone suggested the twist wrist, but bring the the thumb on the right down yeah. and around and out. Try and scoop it this way. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. Is that okay? Yeah, try it. I'll try and go really slow. Mm. 
You tell me if you need me to stop, but I'm just okay, stop. stopping. Uh, yeah. Just can't see. Um, hmm. Can't see. Let me check what's on your porch there. Give me a second. As far as tools go? Yeah. I think there is a reamer and a knife. There is a reamer there. It's in the toolbox in the front. Hmm. In the toolbox, okay. Uh, it's underneath a bunch of stuff, video? Would you like me to get out of there? Uh, let me think. Can you can you zoom back in? I just want to think if a reamer. I'm ready. Can Go ahead, do video. Anything for us Thank here. Thank you. Oh no. Do you think there's any way a reamer can help us pry that yellow open? Or I'm not a big pry fan with the vehicle because it's not usually all that effective. Yeah, I don't think I've ever really seen it do much. No. I've, I've actually never seen it do anything. <laughs> if you use it as a battering ram, it works in that context, but that's not really relevant But it's like, I still here. think that even if we chip, it does and we're now, now so look, almost look like the corner is completely on it. I think that's correct. Like yes. it's, so if right we no. t-bossed it, we might be able to archaeology it, but that still <laughs> will tell us that it's on top of it. Yeah, like... Bummer. Uh, can you... Well, if that theory is true... Here, I got a crazy idea for you, Dirk. Yeah. Right. Tell me if I'm if this. I don't know if this works with your system. We were planning to pull this connector off and fly away, and eventually the other end's plugged into the IP, right? Yeah. What if we flop the whole bundle out on its face and switch ends? Well, I don't know if that works. What if we plug the the end that I'm currently grabbing into the IP, and the other end is the one we fly away? That's not a bad idea. Let, let me think. Um, yeah, think about it. Create a massive snag but I mean this cable is kind of here to stay it looks like it yeah um, and this is the very first wrap flip it like that yes uh, unplug it at the IP this connector would it reach the, the yes the, it would we flew away with it already I'm how, how much came off lots lots yeah yeah then I don't know I don't think it'll still reach um, Megan what's the distance to grotto kind of if you could do like can you do a track following the cable around the um, east side of Grotto. Okay. Um, so it would have to come, we're, we're going around this feature, right? So. Yeah. Kind of follow the yellow line almost around the outside there. Yeah. I also don't know if your nav is spot on right now. or. No, it's, it's, def it's we still have the offset. Okay. Is it shorter to go through Rogers Pass? I don't know what Rogers Pass looks like right now after the landslide. It hmm. seemed kind of narrow when we went through it the other night. Oh, it's narrow. Oh, it's narrow. I think it's I think it's like yeah, I think it might be slightly shorter, but if you said you pull off like 20 meters or something? I don't know. Josh, do you know? 10 meters. How much is pulled off? Looks like there's quite a bit. Oh, uh, 10 10 ish meters. Yeah, I, don't, I think we might end up being short. It's the only problem. Yeah, because I don't, I don't remember following the oilies and there being all a lot of like loose cable. Do we have the bent reamer what in the mean? toolbox? Do we have? There was one that we've been reaming out uh, ga for gas tights. It's like a, I don't know if it's half inch or three quarter inch. It's bent. Yeah, that's where, the one. Where I'm going with this is, could we break the grating? Could I put the reamer in there and twist and break a piece off? Yeah, you could try. I that's, mean, that's a, that's a. <laughs> I don't think your your arm will be able to do it, but okay, you can try. The the only thing know. here is the balance is we have another oily on deck. Uh, it's not flat coiled, and it would have to be deployed. It would, you know, we're looking at a couple hours at least there. So yeah, put it on the porch or something. Well, uh, no, come down with the RAS PPS on the wire deployment. Oh yeah, interesting. So that's the alternative. I'm just if we can salvage this would be nice. I I don't know. I um, think we can get the reamer and like no, we can't chip the rock. I think this whole platform is being supported by that oily. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Which does that give you any questions of its structural integrity? No, I I'll be surprised if it's broken. Basically, Kay. like we've accidentally <coughs> landed platforms on this in the shop <laughs> on Pressure. one of those and it still works. So. It can take the weight of the platform, or okay. some of its weight, anyways. I think you'd need at least 50 meters. And that's kind of kind of like a perfect lay, huh? 
Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it'll reach. And then it has to come up like 10, 30 feet or something at the end as well, just to get onto the shelf. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Can, you can I bring another crazy idea? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Um, it's really worst case. Um, if we, the idea would be to move the IP, for example, by lowering a wire or something from a ship, um, attach it to the platform, lift it up a little bit by the ship wires to get the grating off and free the cable. That would that would work. Um, it it will take a long time, but it's. I mean. I'd almost rather then at that point leave the cable on and just deploy the new one. Why don't we just cut the cable and go plug it in? <laughs> Sub sea splice. Um. And we can't break this uh, grating. The grating, yeah. Well, that's what Trevor was suggesting with the. Um, that's with tough. With the reamer, with the maybe reamer. not with the hand, not with the manip, uh, not with the jaws, but yeah. maybe with the reamer. I don't. Yeah, just think to get so. in the hole and tie yeah. it. Yeah. I don't, I'm going to say no, like you can, I, like we could try, but I think very unlikely these things are pretty, pretty, pretty strong. strong. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of the point. Mm. <coughs> That's fair. And, uh, okay, how about can we push down on the cable and loop, like see if we can at least get it down? Like, I don't know if that's... Underneath the yellow grating entirely? Yeah. Would you like me to try that now? Yeah, could you try that? Let's sure. see if we can yeah. do that. Oh yeah, what am I doing? Oh. Okay. Oh. Looks pretty pimp though. So, if I'm understanding right, you want me to push down. Uh, yeah, like don't actually don't don't bother don't do Trevor. It. Yeah, Roger. I think it's not gonna get anything. Let me get this there. just where we can see. Halted. Um. Okay, just. I'm gonna just go down and guess get them. Uh, I wonder if they should start. I no. can give it one more rock nuzzle, see if I can chip anything away. We got better view here. Just yeah, to see if, if it's can, crumbly. Like, start on the I edge don't know. or something. I don't know. Yeah. Do I have a little more zoom to look at the. Ah, uh, this is okay, Pete. I think. Uh, yeah, this is okay. Like even if we can get the reamer and chip. With See if that works. Might give you more view. I get less precision with the reamer. Think so? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's already crumbling away. Yeah, that's. This could be that it's crumbly ah, enough. I don't want to jam the wrist in there either. Uh, let's let that dust clear. See how it goes. The reamer might give you that <coughs> separation between your wrists, I guess. I don't know. I mean, we'll try what you wanted to try. Um, if you want me to try that, that's well, fine. Not whichever you think. If you think this is the better tool, that's fine, too. I mean, I don't know. At this stage, I think so. And if we get deeper, then sure. we can try the reamer. Okay. It does look pretty dusty. We can pull out the T-Bots, too, if you want to clean. Like, I think it's worth spending some time on this because the alternatives are... Uh, you kind of admit defeat and yeah. had a couple hours. Yeah, I hear ya. And and you're down and oily, so that's also not great. Situation. Let's, yeah, let's try the reamer. What the heck? Yeah, okay. Come reamer on, please. Do you want a T-boss at first or I reamer? Think, I think reamer. Reamer. All right, let's do it. Okay, are we in the toolbox? Is that right? Uh, I don't know where they put it. It'd be in one of the boxes. Yeah, I oh. think it's in the toolbox. Hope in the it's front. in the toolbox. But it's really in there because we had to collect some things that came off the top. Can you bring the camera racked in too, please? So I don't trust myself. There well, there's a reamer. That metal rod that we try to use as a weight for the. I don't see the reamer. It's uh, right here. I see it now, thank you. I thought that was a shadow. It's 
Swing and a miss. Hmm, neat. Yeah, that's under everything. All right. Come on. Oh, there's a little handle on it, too? Oh, good gravy. <laughs> <laughs> What's this drop from? I don't know. Um, Something was strapped to the porch earlier, and then it came oh. loose. Oh, gotcha. Oh, that looks like two gladiuses. Oh, something that was a tool mm -hmm. that was on the... Okay, I got it. And then the strap was like swaying in the wind, so we had to roll Can it you up and out put it in all the box. More? Possibly. Yeah. Negative. That's all she got. That was on the on the on the tool <sighs> on the porch. Mm -hmm. Come on. Oh, this is a fool's errand, isn't it? <laughs> I think you're working it thread by thread there, Trevor. I know, man, but like sometimes <laughs> it goes backwards. Get off of there. Get <sighs> off of there. You gotta be kidding me. Come on. Is this is this a fool's errand, Dirk? I don't know. No, I don't know. Keep doing what you're doing. I think that you're getting off of there. Oh, <sighs> uh, maybe not. Aggravating. All right. I mean, you might have to pick it from the other end or something. I don't know. The strap might just come. Yeah. Oh. Nope. Mm -hmm. Nope. Don't That's lose the gas site. Roger. Might be late for that. Come on. Uh, tilt that, please. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Now what? There we go. Solving two problems. <laughs> oh, no. What'd you say, Dirk? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Killing me. Oh, uh, sorry. That was my fault. Yeah. Completely. Um. Safety. Yep. That's why they rotate. That's why they exist too. <laughs> For this kind of. This kind of nonsense. Yeah. This kind of futzing around in the tool basket. Oh, I got the um, old monkey's fist under the gas tight now. That's a little. Is this an auto deploy situation? I hope so. Can I fling the flanger here? Or is it gonna? Oh, oh, it's going to be real it's jammed all, in under oh, there. Oh, it's all jammed in. Yeah, I'm free of the strap now, so that's progress. <laughs> Holy. I don't think you're going to get it out of there because you have to physically yeah. Yeah. get it. We're getting there. Yeah, no, no, this is working. Oh, let me just operation this. <laughs> this is problem solving in reverse. You start with the main problem and then solve <laughs> smaller problems on Make the Make a bunch of other problems. How is it yeah. all wedged? <laughs> okay. <laughs> How many problems deep do we go before we <laughs> come abandon this? This is up to you, Dirk. This is a question for you. No, no. I think what we're doing here is is, is still being productive. Okay. I don't think we're in the rabbit hole just yet. Roger. Roger, no rabbit hole. You know what I'm going to do? Here's what I'm going to do. Yep, they're buddies now. Get off of there. What are you doing? It's are you kidding me? <laughs> it's pulling a, um ADCP on the RC mooring. Jammed. Cable. This is unreal. I think this will do it. What you doing? What has happened here? Help me understand.
Can you zoom in on that, please, yeah. and line me up, Josh? You want me to get it with Mango? Maybe. Yeah, I think we. that's a great idea, Josh. Come on, please, video. <laughs> oh, Look at that, wow. eh? Stand yeah, by. We're going to magnum this. Oh, yep. This is really... <laughs> Roger. Maybe Lockjaw? Sure. Get out of there, <laughs> you little devil. Wow, okay. <laughs> Reamer's out, Dirk. <laughs> Perfect. See? Oh, one, one problem ahead. Oh, These safeties right. have really made a change for the amount of accidental triggers. Yeah, can I see a little bit down on the Zeus there, Josh? Just the tip of the box lid. Thank you, good. Don't know if that was an AJ initiative, but I think it was. Yeah, the safeties are brilliant. Slide him over and slide him back, and then we're good. Okay. Uh, let me think about this. What do I want to do here? Uh, I can rotate or. No, I'm just trying to think about how I actually want to grab this. It's also got the dog leg in there. Yeah, I think I want to grab it like. Yeah, can you jaw rotate, please? Right? Yeah. That's probably good. Use that dog leg to my advantage later. Okay, I got it. Happy with that grip, I think? Sure. It sure does look like that whole thing is just wanting to f break off. Okay, I'm gonna take uh, five seconds here just to crack the wrist. Okay, Josh, can you please camera rack out? You can put away Magnum if you want first, whatever. Once you're done there with the Magnum, Josh, we can line up on the problem area. Okay, Pete, can I get a half zoom, please? It's good for now. Okay, let's get a little more now, please. Keep going. Good there. Uh, just wait for the dust in between so we can really see what, okay. what we're scraping. Stopping. It just looks like rust. Yeah. <coughs> I think that was broad rust. <laughs> it does look like like we move stuff. Mm -hmm. What I don't want to see is this, as we dig, the platform just keeps sinking down. <laughs> Where do we stop? Hoop, hoop, hoop. Don't do that. Question is, are we on like a massive sulfide or on a piece of basalt? It doesn't look like basalt. It's this little devil here that's. It looks loose. Causing some problems. Did you see it's loose? I missed it. I said I thought I saw it move. Okay. Oh, cool. that's promising. That is promising. Yeah, this little rascal here is going to cause our. Yeah, uh, this looks look, looking a little dark too. Yeah, dark's probably not your friend. No, I like white. 
I think is the best in this case. Oh. Get out of there. What did you say if you're making progress? I feel like... Can we do a little more lineup and a little more zoom, please? Just to see how we're doing. Mm. <laughs> Man, I'd can you... Okay. Help. If you get... I know what How do you're we feel ask. about this? All right. I know what you're going to ask. All Go right. for it. Hit me. Um, I'm wondering, are we at the point where we can put that guy in here? Is that what you're talking about? Is that what you thought I was yep. going to ask? I thought you were going to ask for the triangle black spot kind of right, uh, oh, all right here. Like if, yeah, if you want to do that. But I can try that and do a very gentle wrist roll. Yeah, and see. Because, I mean, we're seeing more of this than ever right now. It's true. Get in there. Oh, you're so close. Nope. Oh, she's bound up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pushing, pushing harder than I want I to. I think so. you're on the rock there anyway behind it. Okay. I don't Roger. know if you were on the cable. Pretty sure I'm. Are you, you think you're on the cable there? There's the cable. Okay. I'm going to go just a little bit past it and now pull. I'm on the cable. Yeah, yeah okay. Hmm. What would you like to do, Dirk? Keep digging. Uh, a different approach. What do, do you, you want to do? Think that corner has pierced the cable. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's pinching. Can you just take this, or do you mind? Can you run that reamer? Just get some of this stuff off of there. Yeah. So we can I'll see try a little bit more. Stroke it. That looks like a sharp edge. The reamer and the grating are probably both pretty sharp. I was talking about the black triangle thingy. Yeah, there's our there's our corner. Yeah. Yeah, it's all right, yeah, nothing, eh? All right, maybe get out of there, Trevor. I don't know. Okay, we'll let the dust clear anyway. I could try that. Yeah. Yeah. So Dirk. Yep. Dave has an idea. Um, yep. I'll show you before I just go do it. Uh, the thought is this area right in there, kind of what you were talking about, but there's a rock here. Yeah. And it. the yellow plate there. If I put the reamer in here and kind of do one of these. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like bend and pry. You're trying to pry the yellow. Yellow against the rock and not hopefully prying on the cable. Okay, Do you want to yeah, try that? No, definitely. That's great. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it's crumbling away. I can't. There's nothing to pry there. It's yeah, I know. Why is the whole rock not like that? Why is everything crumbly except for the spot that we need? Yeah. Tell me that, Dirk. Uh, geology? <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe. That answer it. Yeah, I feel smarter already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, Short of having that three-foot pry bar on here, I don't know. I could try what you suggested and come in either underneath or on this side of the cable, see if I can pry something out. Like pry the... Yeah, totally. I like. I feel like if we see more of this cable, we'd know more the degree to how flat it is. You can see how pinched it is based on how not wiggly it is as I wiggle it. No, the other side is completely stationary. Yeah. I mean, we gotta, unless we can move that grating, I don't think, it doesn't look like the chipping's gonna get us anywhere. Agreed. I think we've reached, uh, whatever, base rock or something. Mm -hmm. um, 
Yeah, is there, there's nothing really we can do unless we can pry that grating. I think we're stuck. And you're thinking the black corner is too solid to break it off with a reamer? Uh, I don't, just don't think it will get us anywhere. Okay. Can I try this, Dirk? Yeah, yeah. You're trying to break that chunk off? Yeah, there's no way it'll work, but... Oh, you did. Ooh. Well, it worked. Ooh. Look at that. I mean, yeah, I broke like a millimeter <laughs> off of it. Well, I don't know. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Not much. And it also shot off of there into the hose, which I don't really want to make a habit of. Uh, do you mind trying that once more? Sure, sure. Like, I'll try it in the, this one. Yeah, I tried that one. Might as well. Like, I think we're, this oily is toast. So unless we can test it, right, so. Yeah, it is. It does look like you're deforming it. I'm moving the whole vehicle, so I'm doing something. Things are happening. You're flexing it pretty good. Yeah. Hope, hope. Try that again, or what do you? I think I think that's been our closest to anything. Closest to anything, Roger. Mm -hmm. And like, it's not even a guarantee that this way is still going to work. So I feel like this is a very viable option here. Oh, oh yeah. So close. Yeah. Break it. Bang. It's progress. I feel like you just made the whole thing like 10% weaker. <laughs> All right. It's just going to be better every time. Or worse. You know, those are kind of the options. Nah. I don't think you can. It, it didn't get stronger. That's true. Mm -hmm. Okay. You right there? Sleep when you can, Dave. Oh, yeah. I hear you, dude. I'm gonna halt there for a minute, just get a little bit of dust clear. Yeah. Yeah, let's wait for it to be like as clear as it, as clear as it gets so we know what we're doing. See if we're making progress. Or yeah, you tell me when. First thing I'm gonna do is wrist roll right 90 degrees and then I can pry against the jaws instead of the loose way. Yeah, yeah. So gotcha. you tell me when I'm good to go. Okay, that looks pretty good. Looks okay. better. Give that a shot. Hmm. Just rolling the old. <laughs> yeah, well, it's meant like around. a swivel. Yeah, it's by design, actually. Break it. Ooh. Ooh. Break it. Oh, the mm. swivel's kind of biting you now. The old swivel bite, eh? Whee! But I think you've made it weaker again. Yeah. I can keep doing this. I haven't seen any oil float up, so that's true enough. Sign. It'd be flat if there was no oil, right? <laughs> is that true? What's that? It would be flat if there was no oil in it? No, no, the oil is just pressure compensated. I don't know. I'm saying I've seen flat, I've seen oilies that have been yeah, cut, but and they're they flat. Well, the ones that are flat, there are definitely flat oilies on our network, but that's normally when they're uh, through a penetrator into a housing. Oh, and then yeah. They, um, the the penetrator fails and the oil rushes into the vault, like the open space. Yeah, okay, understood. The electronics a lot of times still works. It's just oil flooded. <laughs> Roger. And now that... Oh, this crap. Help me, crap. <laughs> Help me, buddy. You're like, my only we, hope. What are we doing here? You want an extra crab? Crab strength? <laughs> <laughs> Crab strength. Oh, I hope he doesn't try to pry. I don't think that's going to work out for his leg. <laughs> He's trying to get in there too. Oh. That's moving the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's good. I mean, pot committed. Come wide, please. All right. Here good pry. Go oh. oh. What? Excuse me, buddy. Yeah, he's like, okay, what is going on? Here? Yeah, no, this is not pray. <laughs> this is not the big leagues. Get out of here. Go pry something else. <laughs> the big leagues. 
Okay, you can zoom in again, Pete. Thank you. That's good there for now. What's the story, Dory? Want me to keep prying or try to scoop out or? No, 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 I think give it another pry. One more pry. One more pry, Roger. Pry your okay. best. Pry, okay, yeah, that was, okay, that's fine. Can you uh, zoom in more, please? That's good there. Okay, we're right in there now. Yeah. Let's uh, do one of these. Nope, just kidding. Can't. This has got the silly rubber, rubber uh, swivel action. Yeah, yeah, probably kind of in that direction is better. Yeah, Roger. I feel like I can see the whole oily now at least. The integrity of that is. Th uh, okay, stop there. Stopping. Yeah, I just wonder if you're on the oily. With the yeah, maybe. We'll just wait. I'm uh, unloading it first. Sure. That works. I feel like it looks a lot better. Do you want me to try nuzzling it out? Yes, I think that's that's, an, that's a good idea. Maybe just give it a little bit, Trevor. Let's Roger, see. Let's by. wait for some viz. I'm not really. <coughs> All right, Trevor. Yeah, I think we're good to try it. Okay. Cool. Mm, no. Not yet. All right, well. Can you zoom in more, please, Pete? Give me all you got. I think we've moved it off where it used to sit. Like, you can kind of, I feel like we see a little <laughs> groove in Come there. Come on, get out of there. No, I think we need to pry once more. Oh, no. oh what? Success. Negative on the pryage. Come out, please, a little bit. There, well, you can see there. you can Good see there. exactly where the um, where it was sitting on it, eh? The you little betcha. nice little corner. Let me get this reamer out of there. Well, I may as well finish the scooping. Yeah, I think that's fine. The grip, great work. Oh man, thanks for the patience. It's a little kinked, but I think nothing. Can an oily take 1,800 pounds of force? If it can, if this thing works, you're, you're muted. Yeah, just if this works, then <laughs> just take the manips right on oilies and drag them wherever you want them. Okay, I'm going to assume you probably want to zoom on that spot. Yeah, I'm ready. Go ahead. I'm but I mean, halted. it's just copper in there, so unless it kind of somehow didn't pierce the rubber and pierce the copper, which I doubt, I think we're probably fine. Yeah. Can we zoom even more? <laughs> right on that corner. Whatever you got. That's right it. Little, oh, that's Pulls it. Out. All right. Well, that's pretty good. Hey, nothing for it, but to do it. Um, well, there's no oil actively leaking out. Oh, AJ conveniently comes in. <laughs> Thanks, AJ. <laughs> okay, come half wide, please, video. That's good there. Yeah. Um, well, I might as well store this reamer. Well. Eh, right? I'm not re reaming anymore. Well, you and put not until we get to these other 48 cables anymore. in here that I gotta scoop out, so that's fine. Uh, come full wide, please. Thank you, Josh. Good suggestion, AJ and Megan. Um, so we're going to change it up a little bit. Okay. We want to. <laughs> shocking. <laughs> Never heard of that happening. Like just introducing steps. It's no big deal. So um, we have that tool sitting in the tool basket that you can use to test this cable. Yep. So uh, if everyone's ready, 
it would be good to take this cable and the ones you the one side you've already freed and uh, go plug it into that thing on the tool basket. Are we within distance of that? How far are we from where we are now to we, the tool basket? We might even be able to pull more out if we wanted to, but I don't know. That will be a Megan question. I think we're pretty close. I think we're like 20, 30, 20 meters maybe, maybe less. We can go and sonar it too and see what we're dealing with. <sighs> I suppose we'll put this thing away. Yeah, we for can now. pull all the loops off we want. Yeah. Awesome job, Trevor. That Thank was you. awesome. Thanks yeah. for everybody's patience. Holy. <laughs> I did not think that would happen. Patience is a cookie. Isn't that the saying? Grasshopper. Patience is a grasshopper. What's this about a bug? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a, it's a thing. Thirty of meters, <laughs> one, two, Once six. Once you got that first little ten percent off, it just it weakens that thing so much. I Thank think. you. Okay, Dirk, did you copy that? Because um, you're, you I don't know, it? I can't hear you. You're muted. Uh, thirty meters, oh. one, two, six. Thirty meters away is the tool basket. Okay, so we're gonna want to pull more cable off of this. I'm pretty sure. So you want to pull more off? Well, yes. off the bullhorns, not get it caught on rocks, and then drag it thirty meters to the tool basket, and then drag it the opposite way if it works. <laughs> yes. Okay. Roger. So we're probably gonna have to fly up a little bit, but. So the oh, reason we came back yeah. here in the first place was because uh, we were gonna scoop some off the bullhorns. Because of the way we had to fly or something, I was. This is. Oh, this you is can't fly straight back, right? The terrain's a bit of a nightmare. Yeah, you can't really grab it and fly it back. Can you grab it and fly it up? -ish? Well, yeah, but you can't. Okay, so you you would have to fly it. Yep. So up that it wouldn't come off the bullhorns, right? Because the terrain's so terrible. So that's why we we're gonna shove it all off the bullhorns and then fly it straight up. It will once you once you shove it off the bullhorns, it will tangle. Or even like two or bottom. three loops off the off the bullhorns. So, okay, so maybe it's just a multi-step multi, multi -step process it's gonna be where a multi -step we do three, three loops at a time and we stretch out the cable towards a side that's safe, come Either back. Either way, I'm going to take this bungee yeah, off. It's already got one hell of a kink in it. Is it worth grabbing it loose in the jaw? Turn the jaw opposite the direction we're flying and just let it come with? Yeah, like the open jaw grab. Open jaw grab kind of thing. Makes sense to me. Instead of letting it flop. Um, what was, okay, can you... Um, can you repeat that suggestion? I didn't really catch Dave's it. Dave's saying, like, just grab some of it with the open jaws, fly that away. Like a few loops, you mean? Yeah. Um, like, if I grab, you know, yeah. this one right here, say. And when I say grab, I, of course, mean like this and do the this. I think I, I'm i hesitant to grab it, and I know Josh, this is... Even with the open jaw? Come on. <laughs> I'm talking slide on it twist until it binds and then lift it okay so how many how many loops are down on the bottom right now do you, you one take, and a half taken some off the left and not off the right or the equal? left fell off yeah it might have been two on that side and i think one on the right okay uh yeah we can so okay so just so i understand you want to take the connector and then grab a couple loops on the arm uh grab the loops first then go back for the connector later yeah, bring, if we bring the loops towards the connector. I, I, I'm I hesitant to do any loops without stretching the connector out. I okay. Think that's gonna, so um, I think what we should do in that case is what you've got now, you've got some loops on the ground. Yep. Get the connector in a direction and then um, if the we connector come back. is in a direction. Yeah, okay. So I think we should fly straight up with it and that way we know exactly how much cable we got. What do you mean straight up? Well, if you come, you grab the connector, you come back here, you fly straight up and you see how high you can get. Exactly, and then once you once you've s maxed out, you lay it down in a direction. Then you yeah. come back, you knock a few more loops off, yeah. and then you keep doing that repeat just over and over and over again until you got all. So the right now we're at the we've picked up the connector, we've laid it down in a direction, and okay. now we've locked a cup, uh, knocked two loops off. Okay, so I think go grab the connector and fly yeah. it up. Okay. Okay. I think we're all on the same page. Roger. Of a different book. Yeah, but I mean, the, the I'm page kidding, is, Dirk. The I'm page kidding. is important, isn't it? I'm kidding, yeah, I think Dirk. so. Um, but not the other blue, blue, white. Don't don't follow that blue, blue, white. That's a trick one. Is it? There's two blue, blue, white. There's one that has a trick blue, blue, white on it. Yeah. No, well, that's white, white, blue, or white, blue, blue. Get out of here. <laughs> it's also red, green, or something. Get yellow, green. Yeah. Yeah, that's an interesting switching the colors. 
That's, I think, later on the dive plan where the ROV's got to switch the colors. Oh, you're, we brought some your, tape down. Your butt cam shows a lot of cableage. Oh, I had the wrong up. Sorry. Up, up, down, down, up. Uh. Whoops. <laughs> Where's the connector? Do, 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 do. I think you got a lot off. I think so too. Yeah, more than 10 meters. Which which blue white? The one on the left? Is that it? There should be. Nope. This one right here, just coming through the loop. It's the cable on the left, yeah. Yeah, we did get a lot. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think you might be close to your 30 meter mark, but I, I agree with the loops. I think we fly straight up by yeah. the uh, pick up those loops and then head over to the tool basket. Yeah. Roger. Nice. What's that blue thing? Don't worry that's, about that. That's the Maris cable. Okay, I'll just come around. That was another night shift right there. Different. It's like two dives ago. Thank you. I can do it on the fly, Josh, if you want. Yeah, I just didn't like that rock very much. Yeah, punch <laughs> it. I got it. Thank you. Uh, that's all we got. Yeah. Yeah. That's the way. Trevor. Yeah, ready? Yeah. Grip is locked. Halted. I might put a bit of a bend in this just so we can see when it comes tight a little yeah, better. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, uh. Which way is the IP? This. The IP yeah. is to the west. Due west? Mm -hmm. Do it. Okay. Do I'd west, like Josh. to fly basically directly <laughs> over it without seeing it, Megan. So, where is it? It's right here. Oh. That imaginary IP. Wait, the I oh you're under the IP, yeah, understood. Well just I think to, we have enough just to the west of it, but let me let me see if we have enough via going up. Uh winch, you know, winch, 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 winch. Thank winch. you. We have enough, I think, because the blue beacon is the beacon in the tool basket. It's not, it's gonna be close. We're not far off. Yeah, I think we go right there even. It's up it's up to Dirk, but um, Yeah. Well yeah, let if, me if you think let me we just keep enough. coming up. Yeah, let I'm okay. coming up. No All problem. the way and we'll we'll tell via altitude. Sounds good. Yeah. I mean, I think, yeah, I think that's a good suggestion. We only pick up as much as we need so we don't have more cable flaked out in the wrong direction. Roger. Which way so is the basket? Basket's down here. Okay. Four meters. And I should do this for a living. <laughs> what are you doing it for right now? For fun. 28 meters. I'm all stopped on the winch, 36. 30 meters. Baskets down there somewhere. Yeah, can you put something there for me to like just even? I know you don't, Megan, for me to. Sorry. 
You okay? Okay, I'm gonna um, back up towards the basket and come down as slow as I can. Okay, I'm all stop on which. Okay. <coughs> Yes. Somewhere around there, you think? Okay. Awesome. Twenty six meters, and we are about ten meters away ish. Coming down with you. I think we have this cable tester. <laughs> what are the odds of that, eh? I know, yeah. Well, yeah. We probably could have plugged it into something else, but that would have been frustrating. I would have been frustrated. Plug it into the camera, and then the camera doesn't work after. It's got Breaks it, yeah. Whoops. Knock it off the shelf. Just to your side, maybe. You see it? Oh, nice. Look at that. Thank you, Dave. Yeah. Roger. Lots of cable. I'm going to land this and it's going to plug in all by itself. Mm -hmm. It's going to be amazing. Parking position and all. It's just going to get draped over, whatever. We'll fix that later. Okay, I'm all stop on the winch. Roger. Where is the cable tester part see of it? See it? See it right there? It's just going to disappear behind the door. Yeah, I see it. This titanium thing with the black boot. See the pucks are still sticking up there? You can yeah, see I it? roger that. All right. I can see it. Let's see if I can sit here and you can reach over and grab it and then hand it to, or hand one of them, I guess, to... I guess that's going to be fletched. I'll fletch this one, yeah. You want more room for that? Uh, I'll tell you when I need it. Probably yes. But I don't know. Or possibly no. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to re-grab this anyway, because this is a terrible grab. No schmearing? Oh, well, I could schmear, yeah. I've, sh I've schmeared before. I'd schmear again. You might get the fingers against the metal. Maybe not. Yeah, and the tester. Perfect smearing tool. Mm-hmm. You want to rack out or? Uh, camera rack out, sure. Yeah. Oh, he gets the easy one. Yeah. He gets Set all me. the easy jobs today. Yeah, no kidding. Go, <laughs> Ricky. Swing. Have they um, powers turned off? On J7. Hey. Well, we can blame Hammerford, Hannaford for all this. It's his dog. Oh, yeah, totally. Oh, from J6, sorry. I'm looking at J6. It should be. Good enough. Okay. Grab this thingy. Thingy doodger. Hand uh, it to yeah. me. Can you ask them if they can turn off um, J6? On? Uh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Do on this button. JB12. Let's do uh, forward. Cool. That's not helpful at all. Perfect. Blind spot. So, the pin is that way. Let me think this through. I want to go... Yeah, yeah probably. Just trying to, I want to figure out how I actually want it to be in the Magnum. That's the first step. Uh, so, how backwards. we unplugged it? Did you see that earlier? Uh, I, I missed it, no. Okay, so instead of grabbing around the silver bit on the back, no. we went no. um, between the pucks Turned and off. the... This way? Sorry. Yeah. Like uh, like uh, this like way? On the plate, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. That sounds good. Yeah, we don't want it turned on yet. 
We just need to turn. I just want to make sure it's turned off before we just. Because you can't this. grab that silver part to pull it apart after. Yeah, no, understood completely. What was the other? See the thread stuff there. Stuff that into the wall Where, of that basket. The other one Perfect. you were just on. It said something about on. Okay. That's not right. Can you zoom in, please, video? Good there. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. We definitely don't want it on yet. Yeah, Roger. Perfect. Thank you. Not my best grip, but here we are. All right, ROV. Come whenever, wide, please. Whenever you are ready, you can plug that into there. Sounds good. Thank you. Oh, yeah, that's a terrible, terrible Beautiful. grip. And uh, the pin is... Ooh, hello. We have enough length on this puppy? You have to rotate it around. Yeah, like that. Okay, strap. <laughs> just just rotate it around, he says, <laughs> as it's... <laughs> yeah, I've to had such good luck with that before, haven't I? <laughs> Rip. Rip. Help yeah. me understand. Oh, hey, there's a, there's a synth strap. Yeah, Roger, now. And it sinks, so you got to be quick about that. Yeah, no kidding. Holy cow. Get out of here with this nonsense. Set me up, guys. Let sure. me just blind grab. Hey, Dave. Do you mind putting that uh, thing back? Yeah. Blind grab. No. Yeah. Where's the strap? Can I grab the titanium part? Uh, don't. I mean, yes, before, before he pays attention again. Quickly. I'll just do this. With the strap. For ease of... Future use. <laughs> the strap, you say? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying, yeah. Just, he says. Okay. We're all guilty of it. Yeah. AJ can We gotta build up a tolerance to AJ isms. Note, uh, we got to put that gas tank back on. No way. I don't know what you're talking about, but Kay. I'm not going to know right now. Well, well done with the strap. There you go. Thank you. The strap was a good touch. Didn't want to make it too easy for you, buddy. No. All right. Where was I? This way. I don't know if I did good things or bad things about what you're talking about, but I'm going to choose to ignore that for now. Get off that. There we go. Yeah. So. Hmm. Mm -hmm. How are you going to grip this? Uh, hold on. Holding. Let's see if I go. We can always just set it in like we yeah, I think yeah, just I'll just like that. Just. <laughs> now I think just I gotta to... regrab this. There's no oh, way I can. Uh, can I make a suggestion? Yeah, do it, please. Can you rotate your uh, wrist counterclockwise? Yeah, and then you're not gonna be able to feed that in there, are you, with the gate there? You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Like, would well, it, maybe. Would it get in there? Maybe with a schmear. Yeah, I think I'll need a schmear. I'll magnum schmear, though. Magnum schmear. Uh, I'm going to rack in, because I'm scared. Okay. Here. Schmearing now. Magnum schmear. I'm going to do a tool basket schmear. Nope, that's on bungees. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. We can't, we can't no. elbow. You can wrist up. The elbow's broken. Oh, it's the elbow that's going up the shoulder. Yep. You can wrist up, Josh? Uh, yeah, I can tomorrow. I don't know how much. It goes a shockingly that's, large That's amount. it. Oh, that is. That's I'm already shocked. <laughs> I'm already shocked. <laughs> I forgot I was already shocked. Uh, can you wrist right then? I'm not going to be able to get it in with the tool basket there. 
Um, wrist. Wrist right. I can wrist right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's good. Maybe one more of those? Yeah, maybe one more of those. Yeah, good there. Thank you. Not my favorite situation. You got it. Go ahead. Okay. No, it's a through framer. It would need to stick through the porch. Um, how do you grab this? You want to grab it like this? Yep. Yeah, I want that. That to grab that. Okay. Is what I'm uh, going for. If I rotate my wrist a bit, you can. Do you I want think cable? You, we probably want cable away, though, don't we? Uh, no, no. You want it the way you got it, because you're gonna let that go in there, and then you're gonna grab that cable and plug it in. Roger. Okay. When I say cable away, I mean uh, Watch pin away. Watch the gas here on your on your elbow. Oh, Roger. I don't think that matters. Okay. I think we'll be all right either way. Okay. Okay, so I gotta rotate yeah, my blow. wrist a little bit. Uh, you oh. might actually be good without that because of the way. Okay. Stand by. I've stopped. ROV. Yep. Uh, Trevor. Stop. What we have done recently been doing is we just kind of like take the magnum and hole and like put it around this titanium bit down here. Yeah, we were talking about that. We've done one of these uh, earlier. We've done this one exact one. You prefer, we found, you prefer we found this way it worked. Okay, perfect. Yeah, now can like I, that. before you, the it's better to have the small fingers on the other side. So yeah, I gotta go, go ahead. Totally. But yeah, you, let me get out. Yeah. And we got to demate yeah, yeah. this anyways, so. Are you? We are? Oh, yeah, Why? yeah, yeah. Hold on. So the port it's currently oh. plugged into is a 15-volt port, and we All will right. need to go and plug it into a... Uh, um, either way, we're almost there. Yeah. Let's just keep going. Okay. So I'm going to... Whoop. We're going to smash some stuff, and then I'm going to roll this in here. I can go... I can go... No, you're good. Uh, okay. Roger. Uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, go wrist left. I can go more, I can go... What they can yeah, do. more, yeah. Or they can there, just put or whatever. it on a tool basket. Get rid of the beans. If it's you want to grab it? Just sure. Uh, I think... Just lock jaw? I don't know. Yeah, I, I personally think we need to go all I the agree, way... But I agree, but if you grab it a bit, then I can re-grab. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So okay, I just can't. closing, and I'm just going to hold the jaw closed. I'm yeah, just going to hold it. You can lock jaw, too, either way. It's yeah. the same, same thing. Nice. Whoops. Okay, let go. <laughs> yeah, not my favorite. How about I can, that? I can. Uh, yeah, if you hold it, I like what you're saying with holding it closed. Then I can bump it in. Okay, I'm letting go. Got her. Then I can just. Let me know if you want me to let a little pressure off because I'm holding yeah. it closed. Understood. Let me get unbound up here. And then try that again. Let me uh, stand by. Okay. Uh, I'm ready now. Okay, let it go, and then close it immediately. Nice. Got it. That's it. That's the one. Okay. Good. Lock jaw. And now I can manipulate it to get in a good position for you. Okay. And I will unfletch this or un parking position this. Are we still good to connect this? Macro? Uh, yeah, you're good. Yeah, well, we, the one on the porch is the key for over at the platform. Okay, so I kind of want to... It's very crowded in here, isn't it? <laughs> sure is. I got to spin this 180 from now. Can you come super double extra wide video? You might already be. I can. Maybe rack in a little bit. You are full wide. Thank you. I got to go out and around, I think. Or I can back up while I don't have much. Not really, yeah. <laughs> That's the puzzle, isn't it? This is fine. I got this. He's got it. Oh, baby, he's got it.
that's tight. That's really a tight squeeze in there, isn't it? Oh yeah, baby. What if I... I'm gonna do bubble on craft here. Okay. I'm craft. sure I can scooch back one, like a foot. Like, yeah, if you want. I don't, I don't, yeah, let me... Uh, oh, I got it. Oh, Actually, you got it. Never mind. He's got it. <laughs> okay. Now, could you do some wrist roll, please? Which way? Right. Yeah, sweet. That's oh. looking great. I'm loving More? this. Yeah, I'll, you can line up the camera. I think we'll be good. Josh, can you line up the camera? Oh, right. Yeah, you're talking to me. Yeah. The other, the, <laughs> the only person in the room. And then, Pete, please zoom. Oops, too much. Oh, the jaws? <laughs> My hit nut. There we go. Oh, I was hitting it. that bolt. Yeah, we got it. Yeah. That's it. And we're dropping this. <laughs> Come wide, please, Pete. That's in. Yeah, are we dropping this? Can you take it out of my hand? Yeah, there we go. You can drop it. Um, place it in a place so it doesn't go way down there, but. Roger, go ahead, Josh. Uh, I'm halted. Uh, <laughs> nice. Okay, you good? I'm not. <laughs> Dolt. Yeah, 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 just lay it anywhere there, yeah. yeah that's pretty good. Okay, uh, we have a loose parking position. Yeah, do some housekeeping there, and then yeah. we go back to the IP, and we're heading towards Roger. the west side of it, yeah. Swing and a miss. Ah. Uh, uh, just in there for now? We, no, 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 no. We Roger, will, no. We will use this at the IP after we just make, oh, we're so going to have to hold on to it. After hold the IP? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're cool. going to take a, um, a connector, oh, oh, like oh, one of the cables off the off the instrument platform and plug it oh, into this. Oh, okay. I can, well, maybe I'll just leave it in the Fletcher. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. I'll just keep it in the jaw. Okay. Put it on the porch and keep it in the jaw. We'll sort it out when we get there. Yeah. Well, you store in the magnum. Sorry, that's anyway. what I, I thought you were going to just put the arm on it, but okay, never mind. Sorry, if you're storing the magnum, I'll put it away. Yeah, miss. Terrible. Terrible job. Let's try that again. Uh, it's all. Oh, Chongming. it's all. It's all great, great grip. Yeah, it was good, then I smeared back, sandal schmear. Let me just drop this in the mud, and then we'll move on. What's that? Well, because the one side bungee is off so that you can secure the gas type bungee, but. There we go. Lovely, and you can. Halted. Yeah, and we're on the way. Well done so far. <sighs> now, how many wraps did I put in my tether? Which way do I gotta go? Can you follow the cable back, Josh? Just that so we one? See what, the one we just laid out here. I can do that. Just so we kind of see what we're dealing with. Um, ports J8 and J9 on JB12 are off. You can do a quick gauge check here. Yeah. Uh, good. Okay, front porch. So, Megan, you said J8, J9, 400 volt ports. Okay, so we just, they've just both been turned off. Yeah. So we'll see which one makes more sense. J8 was, is the one for the camera, and so J9 is the one for the, the hydrophone. Perfect off the bullhorns. Deluxe. Everything's going perfectly. That's what I'm hearing. Next step. Uh, you're going to land in front of that western um, connector panel. And, and we need that connector. Yeah, and you're going to be playing some checkers. J8. 
to a connector that's far away there or at the connector panel? At yeah, the so panel. mostly you need, you're going to focus on the one you just put in. And, like, you pretty much have to be in the middle, but slight, the, slight towards the left. You're going to use the second from the left, second fr or third from the left, and the fourth from the left. So however you want to position for those, the middle yeah, ones. Yeah, th this panel, the only way to get it properly is straight on, unfortunately, Trevor. It's the only good landing spot. Versus what? Uh, well, I usually like it at an angle so you can see better. And oh, so I on. see. That's fine. We'll make it work. Make it work. It just takes a little longer as well. Nice one. Gary. Eight or nine. And this is where it's right now. All right, so um, so what we want to do is either eight or nine. If we can just look down. Oh, okay, so can't really tell where these cables are going. No. No, I know, but just one of them under. Doesn't matter, I guess. But all right, so eight is clearly free and over top, so we can use the port eight to um, plug this new cable into, which is the Misha cable. So take eight and put it in the parking position on that's there. underneath nine is that okay eight is underneath nine okay yeah it is well just take nine then nine works too okay are they all on, uh, turned off right now they're all turned off yeah. okay so i can let go of this parking position grab nine and parking position it yeah. is that correct that's correct can i have a tip down i just want to see the pin on that parking position i might have put it backwards no that's right okay uh i'm gonna unlock the grip unhalt Nine. That's, uh, That's over there. Tough. Yeah, getting the new cable in is going to be a challenge as well. Mm hmm. That's behind everything. Pulling. Roger. Oh, well, that came off. Oh, gas tight. Watch the one in the toolbox there. Yeah, it's just the handle, it's not the trigger. No, no, I know. <coughs> Roger. Yeah, hello, little guy. Okay. Can we get bubble on that, Dave, please? On this one, I'm, I'm good. <sighs> Fine. I mean, whatever. Yeah, that's true. Wow. Service. Service with a smile. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, sure. I think that's Wait. made it. Yeah, Ooh, sure that is. Was some force there, boy. Okay, am I am I unmeaching and then re -meaching? Yeah, you are. But let me just pass that. it underneath all these forty-eight other cables. Uh, in the meantime, definitely. Well, you're getting closer. It'll be fine. Yep. Don't do the full forty-eight. Maybe just seven and eight. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna unplug and then figure it out. Seven, eight, fifteen, two points. Pulling. So, do you want me to actually plug it underneath or pass it underneath? It doesn't and matter. No, no, Either no. way. What, if it can plug in, do it. I would like to just... Oh, it's going to be tight, though. Yeah, that's it? a problem. You tell me when to stop, Dirk. I'm just going to keep moving see, that way. I can't see, so... can't see. Bubble? Uh, bubble. Yeah. No, is bubble helping? Can I get stand front by, porch view? By. It's okay. Yeah. And it's going to get more loose as you come left. Yes, we're only okay. Yeah, so we'll just watch him bubble on the number seven there. That's yeah, the only right. one we really care about. Just front porch view. Oh yeah, that's front fine. porch preset is good now. Yeah, that's all right. And because we're just gonna plug it back in there after this, so. Yeah. No, that's good. Okay. Thank you. Trevor's scared of the runaway. Learning to live with good enough. Don't let, what was that? Don't let good enough be the enemy of worse? Uh, my fault, my fault. Huh? I don't get it. You don't get that what makes, I said, Dirk? That makes sense. Think about it, Dirk. Uh, okay, hang on, let me let me do it. Pushing. Yeah, <laughs> roger. Wiggling, pushing, It's forcing. on, so you can let go. Oh. Yeah. Whether it's made it or not is another question, but that comes later. Okay. 
I am halted in the way of your camera. Okay. Um, and I am well, halted out of the way of your can camera. Can we bubble on that? Shh, let's try. It's definitely not made it. I can see it in the other, in some, in the uh, cells yes. camera. Agreed, yep. Are you okay if I push from here, Josh? Yeah, I am. Uh, More okay. than okay. Oh, warp. Mm -hmm. Wrong. <laughs> Pushing. Roger. Fake. Well, Fake wrong. news. Pushing. Ah, uh, not enough. Pushing again. Uh, why can't I get that? Hmm. Slipping off the top. A little off the top. Pushing. Seems better. That's it. Clink. Yeah. Okay, coming out. Nice. Lovely. Yeah, pretty good. Okay, do you want a tang zoom? Oh, I saw that click. No, no. He said he, I could see yeah. a click from there. Yeah. More trusting than AJ. Uh, actually, <laughs> maybe zoom in and see a little bit of Oh, there. I had to goad him, didn't I? No, no, not with AJ right here. <laughs> not with AJ right here. <laughs> <laughs> Make a ground fault like that would be embarrassing. <laughs> Here you go. There we go. That's good. Oh, I should have trusted my gut. Yeah, should have. Trust my gut. Uh, yeah, I know, if anything. <laughs> okay, so we're standing by so on cable testing. testing now? RV, yeah, stand by. Um, we need to test that. I don't know what testing that is like. Does Urcan know how to test it? Okay. Okay, so we're on J9. Um, see if he can s see if he has communication with the with the cable tester on J9. Or Ken should know. Oh, you're wondering if there's some going to be some conflict? But they could probably switch it on the fly, no? Switch it?
Megan, we have a question for you. Oh, oh yeah? Megan. <laughs> well, Megan, this Megan could also answer. Um, someone is interested in marine science and they're wondering how they can break into the field. And I'm asking Megan because we're mostly a room of engineers here. <laughs> I guess I'm the only biologist here. Yes. So, um, well, I mean. I'm here too. The way to get started is to hey. just go to different. Hey. Get involved and volunteer in different places. Um, meet people. Um, if you're interested in, in pursuing an education, there are a number of good colleges that have marine science programs that uh, give you hands-on experience doing research. Um, but there, there are definitely ways to break into the field. There isn't just one way. Um, so a lot of people follow the education track, but that's not for everyone. Um, some other people get into the field by volunteering, uh, finding groups like ONC that, you know, need people to do stuff and, and you can work with them. Um, beach cleanups are a good way to meet a bunch of people who are interested in the environment and protecting our oceans. So if you live near the ocean, there are a number of groups that, that do cleanups and that's a good way to network with people who are interested in the same things you're interested in and also give back to the community and the, and the whole world by cleaning up the ocean and our beaches. Um, there are some uh, sort of crowdsourcing video annotation opportunities where you can go online and, and help scientists identify uh, animals in video. Uh, that's pretty cool uh, because we have, we have a lot more data than, a lot more video data than we have people to look through it. It takes, it's hours and hours of footage and we keep collecting more and more of this video data, uh, but we need people to to look through it. So uh, we still haven't had computer learning become to the point where it can identify everything reasonably, uh, especially for a lot of the, the smaller animals. And, and the human eye is just really good at noticing differences, whereas computers aren't there yet. So uh, there are opportunities to help computer learning and identifying uh, what is something of interest and what isn't. Uh, so you might see a crab walk through a live camera. You just be like, this is a crab. And that will help scientists say, oh, OK, uh, I will go back through and go to this point in the video where someone has said that there was something of interest, and I can identify that animal to species. So that there are a bunch of different ways to get involved. Um, if you have a local aquarium, they often have programs that do outreach that you can get involved in uh, and you could train as someone who helps uh, educate people who come to the aquarium to learn. Uh, so those are a lot of different opportunities to get involved. That was really informative. Thank you, Megan. Fabio is also here. You were more of an That's academic the best answer track. I've ever heard. Um, can you hear me well? Uh, yeah. Maybe, Pete, I don't know if you could turn for oh, you yeah. up a little bit more. No, it's okay. I think I have a... Well, I, I did wa go through the academic path. Mm -hmm. I did an undergraduate degree in biological sciences and then uh, a master's and a PhD in biological oceanography. And nowadays I have a mix role of academia and also as a senior scientist with Ocean Networks my role is to in, uh, do research, but also involve the top-notch researchers out there doing deep sea research, for example. That's my field, biology, deep sea biology, with the use of the observatories. So we can uh, have the, the most, uh, maximize the scientific output generated from the observatories. Um, but I also do some teaching at the university of Victoria. I'm, a, I'm an adjunct at uh, the biology department and I supervise students and um, with their research projects. So yeah, I took the academic pathway and in a more strict way. 
Yeah. Um, I know Lauren was talking about, um, to me, outside of here, about uh, some citizen science projects, like Megan was talking about um, with ONC about like classification. And yeah. so um, is that still up and running? The digital fishers? Yeah. Um, we still, I think we still have that platform. We had the um, specific campaigns uh, targeted at some uh, particular species. For example, we had a campaign about uh, sablefish. Mm -hmm. Scientists were trying to test some machine learning algorithms uh, to identify the fish mm -hmm. and compare with the manual annotation by experts or by the general users or uh, a citizen science. And it was a really interesting uh, project. Thanks, Trevor. Um, we still have. No, thank you. We're planning more. Um, could you find that on the ONC website? I think so, yes. If you go on oceannetworks.ca, uh, let me look where we can find this. It should be under learning, perhaps. Megan, did you have any specific citizen science projects like uh, to direct people to? Um, I can't remember the name of the project that I was talking about. I have to look it up where you can watch video and give feedback. Uh, someone also suggested Zooniverse. Have either of you heard of that one? No, yeah. I haven't heard of that. I did. I have, yeah. The last um, last September, I attended the marine imaging workshop um, in fr in France, in Brest, and there was a specific presentation on that platform. Uh, it's amazing because scientists they can upload uh, gigabytes of imagery there, and you have specific questions, and the public can uh, help you uh, generate all the data by looking at these images and identifying species or some features. Um, that's pretty cool. Yeah. That is pretty funny, Pete. I found a few different projects um, that are all over that are scientists and science projects that people might be interested in. Uh, if you're located in British Columbia, there's a cetacean sighting network. Um, so if you see a whale, you can uh, report that, that sighting, and that helps uh, marine mammal scientists understand uh, the movements of different marine mammals. And that's for British Columbia Canada. residents only? Yeah. Okay. I mean, if you, it's not for residents only. If you're visiting and you see a, oh sure, sure, an but animal, I mean, like but you obviously have to be in uh, you have to kind of be <laughs> yeah. in that location. Um, there's beluga bits, which uh, is researchers on the Assiniboine Park Zoo are interested in social structure and natural history of beluga whales that visit the Churchill River in northern Manitoba. So that's another Canadian project. Um, there's the big seaweed search in Great Britain. Uh, seaweeds from the forests of the sea provides shelter for food and thousands of other marine animals. So these seaweeds are important to people and uh, you can help monitor the effect of seaweed change on the local environment. Another Canadian one is Coast Buster. 
you can help uh, the West Coast clean and uh, be safe by reporting marine debris uh, via the Coastbuster app. And so if you see something, a uh, piece of debris that's come ashore, that'll alert um, people who can come and, and help remove that debris and make our coastline safer. Uh, Deep Sea Explorers, which is an online uh, program. So your mission as a deep sea explorer is to help computers to better classify uh, light and acoustic signals. And so they'll, they'll show you different um, signals from the ocean and you can help identify whether these things are important. Delaware Bay Horseshoe Crab Survey. Um, Digital Fishers, which is an online program. Uh, oh, I think that's the one, Fabio, you were talking about? Yes, as for on ONC. I'm 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 browsing our website here, and I don't think it's as active actually. I, I'm gonna check. Lauren should know. Yeah, I think she mentioned to me something about how we you all have had done campaigns, and she said that usually it's mostly active when there's a campaign happening, and she yeah. said right now there isn't. Yeah, there isn't one that came. There's no campaign right now, and we just reformulated our website maybe a year or so ago, and that definitely is not there. Mm -hmm. There's a dolphin chat, so if you're really interested in dolphins and the sounds they make, um, they you can help identify different dolphin sounds and help understand dolphin communication. Um, Explore Your Shore, which is in Ireland. Uh, you can help contribute to the knowledge of Ireland's marine wildlife by getting involved in understanding marine biodiversity, um, surveying the different coastlines. Uh, if you're in Hawaii, there's Eyes of the Reef Hawaii. Uh, it's a network of reporting uh, coral disease and bleaching, uh, marine invasive species, uh, the presence of crown of thorns, sea stars, and other fish diseases. So if you're interested in helping uh, the reefs of Hawaii and you're visiting Hawaii, you can uh, go snorkeling and, and survey the reefs and see if you spot anything that uh, might be of interest to scientists, and uh, we can help improve our coral reefs in Hawaii. Yeah, so there's there's tons of things. Um, and uh, to get where are you in. finding all of those, Megan? Um, so I found a nice little website called Ocean Oculus, mm -hmm. and this is just like a list of all of the citizen science projects around the world that um, you can, and online, that you can get involved in. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. I know uh, that the U.S. government has a citizen science page, but I've had my students be on it before, and they get really excited about a project, and then it's like, it's a very old project, yeah. so it's not necessarily up to date. So having something up to date is, I think, better for everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so hopefully you can find a project that interests you, that is active. Yeah. Um, and also, you know, going out to meet people um, and then also l tuning into uh, Nautilus Live and talking with uh, experts like us is a good way to get involved. Uh, and we're not the only ship that does this type of interaction. Um, if you're interested, in things up in Alaska, the Okeanos Explorer is up in the Ala uh, Alaskan waters right now, uh, and they'll be diving soon. Um, and that's another way to, to get involved in the types of marine science that we're doing here. So they have a 6,000 meter ROV, very much like our setup here with Hercules and Atalanta, and uh, they'll, they'll be doing a similar um, kind of telepresence situation that we do here mm -hmm. very shortly. You know, if you can't get enough of ONC, you know, we're, there, there's there's more out there. Yeah. If you're a teacher, there are lots of really great resources online for bringing the deep sea into your classrooms. Mm -hmm. um, so 
on the Nautilus Live website, we have a number of different um, uh, lesson plans and activities to, to bring the deep sea into your classroom. Um, and then there's the Deep Sea Education Project, which is an online portal that connects you with three exploration ships, the Nautilus, the Okeanos Explorer, and the Falkor II. And yeah, so well. all of these uh, ships are exploring the deep sea all over the world. And there's education projects and other information online there um, if you're interested. And you can see all that on the nautilus.org, live.org website. Mm -hmm. Of course, you don't have to be a teacher to enjoy those uh, education projects. Right. You could just do the, the things on your own if you're interested. Um, some of the articles and, and different lesson plans are really very interesting, and they've been put together by our teams. And uh, really with the thought in mind of just making this the most interesting, engaging thing to do, because we love what we do here out on the Nautilus, and we want to share that with the world. You guys had a busy, busy shifter. Uh, right now we are hanging out because we're waiting to confirm some connections. How do you compare ONC general list of tasks with the rest of your ROV. Um, Neither of us were on comps. I'm just yelling into my mic. <laughs> yeah. Um, Roger. Uh, can we, can we, like maybe get some video of the other bullhorns and just get an idea? I don't know if there's any cable left on it. Can you come wide on uh, her, this one, Atlanta, please? Looks pretty sparse. The other bullhorns? Yeah, the other bull, the ones we just worked on. Oh, so the bullhorns. Yeah, the bullhorns. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna. He want, Dirk wants some video of around this side here. Yeah, it was on the right, right? Or on the left. It was on the left? Huh. Uh, I've been wrong before, but I don't think I am this time. Well, I don't know. Back I up somebody that was way. paying attention. Yeah, well, I got in here, and you guys are all situated. Um, sorry, oh. before we move, I've got a request from Shua. Could we please zoom into the organism at the base of the rock to the left of the platform? That ooh, this little guy, base of the rock to yeah. the that one. Um, either that I one. I think straight ahead. Or, or this thing? This thing, I think, yeah, that one, I believe. All right. You good for that, Dave? Yeah, go. Zoom in, please. Zoom in, please. Herc Zeus. You can go all the way. All the way in. Give her all you got. Give her. <laughs> Checking out that little crab. Baby crab. Thank you. No worries. All right, full wide, please. Okay, so go back to have a look at these ones that we were messing with, yeah? Yes, I believe so. <coughs> oh, yeah, that's why it wasn't a stable perch, it's because it's not a stable perch. It's not a stable perch. Yeah, it's <laughs> a bit of a... Let me just balance on these two points here. <laughs> <laughs> One point almost, honestly. One point, yeah, really. Oh, that's treacherous. There we go, that's good enough. So that's all you want to see? A few wraps left, I just wanted to kind of get an idea. 
Where okay. I, I was thinking we could do it without moving the RV, but sorry about that. That's all right. Do you want back to sit on? Sure. Yeah. Have a seat. Take a load off. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Right now it's one port nine. Uh, let's set up for the hydrophone. Nice, good work. All right, so dive continues. The cable okay. works. Cable works. Yeah. Great news. Don't tell Josh that. No. <laughs> we'll tell him. Everyone, everyone just. Everyone, the, the cable's broken when. Yeah. Josh yeah, and we'll just keep laying it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> just might as well. Yeah. You got to do get it it's off really the bullhorn. So might as well yeah. put it okay. somewhere. Yeah. Roger. So, uh, what do you want to do, Dirk? So right now we got to play um, checkers here and uh, Un uncheckers what we did before. Yeah, exactly. Um, just give us a second. <laughs> uh, giving a second. We just want to turn these ports off. Raj, standing by. So once we get a confirmation, we can play checkers. I'm gonna get the arm out and kind of get it near J9 and not unplug it, but just get near. Yeah. Which gas sites do you still need? Okay. <laughs> oh, we'll see about that. Hulk plus, yeah, number 20. Orange and white, close to slowly. Priority is on this guy. Okay, so Hulk and um, Ras. Where's Hulk? Is it by Dante? Yeah, what I'll do is maybe I'll use the slow close on the RAS PPS, and if it worked, if it was a good sample. Uh, we don't? Why not? How slow does it close? Slowly, I guess. How slow does it close? Yeah. Yeah, you did say that.